WFNN. Headline News Update. Okay, folks, this is Larry Pesavento giving you the mid-afternoon update at TFNN. It's uh, pretty much a mixed up here. We've got the metals up. Uh, least gold is up pretty good. Uh, silver is uh, up a tiny bit. There was. I don't know if it's still up or not. But the main one to look at here is the stock market. We've been hit pretty hard. I posted a chart in the Tiger Den today of the chart of Credit Swiss Bank. It is the largest bank in Switzerland, right behind UBS, United Bank of Switzerland. Uh, I've been able to tour those banks over the years, and these are really big operations, folks. But as a big surprise today, as you can see, they came out, and they're basically kaput, tapioca, as they say in the trade. They'll be taken over by one of the large Swiss banks, most probably UBS. They have it in their charter in Switzerland that if any of the banks go, they stand behind each other, one for all and all for one, and they'll take each other uh, as they go. This will be absorbed. Uh, what's important about this, folks, that's the second biggest bank in a country that doesn't have a lot of political stuff, so you ought to pay attention to what's going on. That's mismanagement is basically what that was. Now, as you can see from this chart, I know it's going to be difficult to see, but you realize it's been going down for two years, and now they're telling us there's something wrong? Hmm. Then you wonder why I'm a technician. Shut the front door and raise the rent. That's the reason right there. I'm going to give you one other reason, too, folks. I think you're going to really enjoy this one. This was posted to me by one of my friends who happens to be an oil trader. You're going to get a kick out of this one. This is from uh, just about, oh, my goodness, it was about a year and a half ago. Goldman Sachs came out with their annual report. Anytime the price of oil reaches 120, they came out with this report that says, look at this. Look for 140 in the gold market. You see the little red mark there? Folks, gold hit $67 a barrel today, folks, in the midst of a war in Ukraine. Something's not right in Denmark. So pay attention, folks. These markets are trying to tell you something, and it's very, very important. So stay tuned for 24-7 Fibonacci Live, and we'll try to make sense out of this. But uh, this is just getting started, folks. Uh, when they hit Switzerland, the next will be somebody else, and next will be somebody else, and the next will be somebody else. Anyway, we'll see what happens. It's, it's going to be the greatest buying opportunity since October or March the 5th, 2009. We'll be right back. <laughs> 